Right now, about 55 films are being featured in screenings for the True False Film Fest. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Hannah Falcon. While most of the documentaries and short films are from out of state, a bill recently passed in the Senate could attract more filmmakers to base their projects in Missouri. ABC 17's Abigail Landwehr joins us live from downtown where the film festival is happening. Abigail, organizers were expecting over 150 filmmakers to visit Columbia this weekend. Hannah, this year's festival features different filmmakers from different countries and different states. And while most of these films were made outside of Missouri, lawmakers are looking at a new bill that could attract more filmmakers to actually make their projects in Missouri. I spoke with two Columbia residents attending the festival about their thoughts on the bill. I think it would be great for the state. Missouri has a lot to offer from um, like our outdoor spaces throughout the state, our state parks, but then we also have so many urban areas that can be used for different film settings. Ellen Young and Haley Morris from Columbia say they're in favor of bringing more films to Missouri. The main goal of the ShowMo Act is to attract movie and TV sets by offering tax credits for film projects and crews. Monday, that bill won approval 20 to 12 in the Senate. Similar tax incentives were in place for Missouri Missouri, but then expired in November 2013. I think it's, it's cool when we've seen Missouri as a setting in the past. Movies like the 2014 film Gone Girl have used Missouri for their project sets. People are more interested in seeing it, even if they weren't interested in the story, just because they like said, hey, I've been to like the Ozarks or I've been to a cave where it was filmed. Um, so I think it would make a lot more people interested, even if the plot wasn't of interest. The bill now passes on to the House, where it awaits further discussion. I think bringing um, more jobs to our state and highlighting what we have to offer can only benefit the state and the people who live here. And some lawmakers have argued that the payout for the tax incentives would be more than the revenue that the state would receive. But others say the potential for the increase in local Missouri businesses and hotel would make the bill worth it. Reporting live in Columbia, Abigail Landwehr, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Abigail. If the bill is signed into law, it could go into effect as soon as the end of August this year.